Party leaders have been on the campaign trail this week in support of their candidates in the Ikarawa Rafati by-election, which uh, closes in just a week now. Labour, the Māori Party, Mana and the Greens all have candidates standing in the eastern Māori seat, which was vacated by the death of Parikura Horomea earlier this year. But it's arguably Labour and the Māori Party who have the most at stake. If Labour loses the seat, it could be seen as an indictment of David Shearer's leadership, while if the Māori Party fails to win it, it could test their claim to be the true voice of Māori. To see how they've been courting voters, Torben Akel joined Labour and the Māori Party on the campaign trail. Masterton is a town where in the 2011 general election, Labour didn't fare quite as well as it did in the Ikaraorafiti electorate as a whole which is one reason why party leader David Shearer came here on Thursday and threw his weight behind Labour's by-election candidate, Mika Whaitiri. First up was a visit to Tirangi Marie Marae, where it was a family affair, with Whaitiri's mother and father both in attendance too. And where Shearer got to demonstrate his grasp of Te Reo Māori. Ki te whare, te nā koe. In uh, and kuia. In sharp contrast to John Key, who earlier in the week struggled to recall the Māori Party candidate's two-letter name. There was emotion on display at the Marae too, when Whaiteri spoke and remembered her friendship with Parakura Horamia. It's really hard to do the things that he has taught me to be true, to love our people, to do the very best, to ensure that you are skilled so that you could confront all the challenges that are going to come your way. G'day Ian, this is David Chura. Hello, Ian Hi, well, Next up was a visit to a community art centre, where not everyone welcomed the attention, but the small number of Māori voters who were there appreciated the visit. Well, who are you going to give it to? Going to give it to oh, no, no, I'm getting a reading for one of our ladies. Oh, really? Yeah, and then I'm going to do this one. Get to um, know the candidates a bit more and get to know them on a personal level. Who are you backing? Um, Miss Whaiteri. So it'll come out shiny in the end, will it? So what do you think of their visit here today? Um, I really enjoy it, and it's good to meet other people. Would it influence the way you vote in the by-election? Mm, no, not really, no, because I'll still vote for Labour. Music to share his ears, no doubt, for whom this is his first election campaign since becoming Labour Party leader. So how are you finding it? Oh, look, I, I love campaigning um, because it, it, it really is, you, the, all the, the rules go to one side and you're able to get out there and meet people, um, people are willing to talk to you. I mean, I love this sort of stuff. I love meeting people. That's what I get into politics for. So you're bypassing the media? No, not bypassing the media. Well, to get to people. Well, yes, exactly. I mean, you can meet people on the street. You can ask them the questions. You get feedback straight away. You meet them on their doorsteps. Um, it's face to face, um, <laughs> and that's really what it's all about in politics. Is that your strength? Uh, I'd say it was. Yeah, I, I much prefer dealing with people on a one-to-one -one basis. That's what I like doing as a as a person. Um, and, and an election obviously gives her the chance to be able to do that. Then it was off to a street corner to press the flesh and court more votes. That's a, that's a part of about who I am and what I stand for. So where the entourage caused a mini traffic jam on Masterton's main street and where this local at least wasn't fussed by Labour's Eden Park debacle. If you need any support, you've got mine. Cool. Okay. Thanks a lot. Eh? See you. Bye-bye. The Eden Park box is one thing. Gambling's another. Their last stop in Masterton was a construction training course for youths, a chance for Shearer to plug Labour's ambitious housing policy. We want to build 10,000 houses a year for the next 10 years. Of these 15 students, though, less than half were eligible to vote. But two of those that were said Labour's visit may have had the desired effect. Did their visit make you more likely to vote for them? Yep. Yeah, no, definitely. But I still like to listen to what everyone else has to say. Yeah, no, it did, it did. They had some really nice comments to, to say. And while Shearer and Whaitiri may have connected with only 30-odd Māori voters in the four hours they were here in Masterton today, the hope is that those voters will go home and talk to their friends and family and convince them to vote Labour too. <laughs>
And it's a cliche, but in this by-election, every vote will count, especially for Labour. Unlike in the 2011 general election, they face competition for the seat from the Greens, whom Shera admits will probably take votes off them. Did you ask the Greens not to stand? Uh, no, we didn't have that conversation with them. It was really up to them. Would you have preferred if they didn't stand? Oh, <laughs> uh, probably if they, if, if they hadn't, uh, that would have been better. But look, that's their choice. Another worry for Labour will be the fact the Māori Party's candidate stood in 2011 too, so already has a high public profile. Very good, very good. Welcome to my world. Thank you. Come on in. And if Labour's reception was subdued, the Māori Party were among friends in Hawke's Bay. And there, Nā Raihania, a former president of the PSA union, was quick to draw a distinction between himself and Labour's Mecca Whaiteri. I'm uh, engaging. I really am. I'm a, I'm a person who can sit down and talk, and I love to talk, uh, but mostly I love to listen to people and try and work out solutions for them. And you combine that with the fact that we're in the position to be able to deliver. Delivering, yes, but in a partnership with a national party that has limited support in Māori communities like this. National didn't stand a candidate in Ikaro Rafati in 2011 and got just 6% of the party vote. Māori Party leader Peter Sharples, who's been campaigning closely with Raihania, believes National has changed while in partnership with his party. It was a, a kind of a rude awakening for them to have Tariana and I sitting at the table arguing over their basic policies to say that, hello, there's a Māori policy that conflicts with this. And so, yes, I think we've, we've opened a lot of doors. Forget about all those Pākehā allegiances. By being Māori, we support New Zealand and Pākehā, but we've got to be true to ourselves. Whether it's national or Labour, it's still the same. It's the same stuff, it's Pākehā stuff. A message the Māori Party is pushing hard in this campaign, with national endorsing Raihania earlier this week. This by-election will be a test of voters' happiness with that relationship. The government relies on these three Māori Party seats to start getting things through Parliament. We're not in bed with them, we just work alongside them. Married with four adult children, Raihania says it's traditional Māori values that will drive voters. Oh, well, I'm a family man, obviously. I've just talked about our... I can't stop talking about our little mukapuna we had about a week ago. He's just fantastic. He's a relative of Parakura Horamia, but says it's time to look forward, not back. People on the ground are telling me they voted for the person. And if anyone thinks any one party is going to take this on their own, they're, they're mistaken. Our people like their MPs to be engaging. They want to know they can just stop in their house, have a cup of tea and talk with them. It's very personal Māori politics and their MP has to be able to engage at that level. That's what they're telling me right throughout. So yes, it's a level playing field right now. Off camera he told us there was also some bad feeling toward Labour over Parakura Horamia's demotion after the 2011 election. I think he doesn't know what he's talking about, quite frankly. I mean, uh, uh, Parakura and I were very, very close. Um, he was working as hard as he ever worked here. He was as popular as he ever, ever, as he ever would, was. He's a person that could get onto a marae anywhere in the country uh, and be welcomed. He had mana. Uh, I don't think Mr Rahania really knows what he's talking about. Or so he hopes, because if Raihania does know what he's talking about and Labour does lose Ikaro Rafiti, it'll be one less seat in Parliament for a party that already has its smallest caucus since MMP began.